Hey everybody, Bob Shack, you Fripper here, and today we're gonna be doing some more fun four mods. So let's get right into this, shall we? Alright everybody, so the first mod of today is the M14 by FS7 Cloud Strife. FS7 Cloud Strife strikes it again with another excellent weapon mod. As you can see, this is custom mesh and texture as you yeah, as you can see, it also offers a custom sound. So yeah, this is the M14. Offers a custom sound, and uh, yeah, it's uh, offers it again a whole bunch of modifications, and uh, it's uh, it's pretty damn awesome. I you know, it's a pretty good gun, and uh, go check it out or something. I don't know. Alright guys, so let's go over the mods. So as you can see, uh, the M14 offers a whole lot of receivers. Um, pretty damn awesome. Uh, you know, got a bunch of receivers there. You also got uh, three different barrels. You got a standard barrel, short barrel, and a marksman barrel. And then you got a bunch of stocks. You got a short stock, full stock, marksman stock, and recall compensating stock. In my opinion, this one looks the best actually, but uh, you know, just preference. You got three different magazines, medium one, large one, and the quick eject medium one, which is pretty cool. I uh, also got a bunch of scopes, which is pretty nice. Uh, you got four different uh, muzzles. You got no muzzle, suppressor, compensator, and a muzzle brake, which is pretty good. Now here comes the, here's the good part. Um, these accessories here you got. You got a bipod, you can put on a strap, a tactical light, a bayonet. Pretty good stuff pretty awesome um, next up we get material which is more of a, an aesthetic thing but okay I guess uh, you got an arid stock a dark wood stock marina stock verdant stock and a wood stock uh, I've chosen the wood stock because it looks the best and uh, you know uh, then you got now uh, you got also uh, bullets uh, different types of uh, ammunition you got default rounds, toast rounds, and all the good stuff. Hollow pine, hollow pine rounds are pretty good in my opinion. I do like these. Um, but, you know, you can check this out for yourself if you get the mod. So, uh, yeah, that's going to do it for the end. Alright, everybody, so the next mod we're going to be taking a look at is the M2216. Yet again, by FS7 Cloud Strive. And uh, I think we almost we almost got all the weapons FS7 Cloud Strive release. Um, so, yeah. This is, um, it's been released a while back, but um, yeah, this is uh, the M2216, custom mesh and custom textures, um, you know, uh, basic stuff. It um, also offers no custom sounds, and it can only be obtained at, uh, or through uh, console commands at the moment. Hopefully, FS7 Cloud Surf, you know, makes it into, the, makes the gun into the level list integration, and if not, well, then, uh, you know, whatever anyways um yeah there's a beautiful beautiful baby gun I have been waiting for this for quite some time actually um, I do enjoy the you know the ARs or the M24s or, or M16 carbines I do enjoy them a lot um, this is a little version of the gun obviously uh, and uh, yeah I'm gonna show you the modded one in just a second all right okay so as you can see this is the mod version of the M2216 which offers a skeleton stock a suppressor and a good old reflex side. Um, it also off I off also added an automatic receiver, and uh, yeah, this is the gun. Uh, it's pretty damn awesome. I do enjoy it, and uh, yeah. Alright everybody, so the next mod we're going to be taking a look at is the 223 Revolver, aka Dead Gun by Skibida. 
Hell yeah, guys, have you been wanting to get that gun from New Vegas into Fallout 4? Well, with this mod, you can. You fucking can. Well, this is a... Uh, basically, this is a Nifscope edit, I believe. I'm not sure. It kind of does look like an, uh... Like a... You know, uh... Custom-made gun, but in fact, I do think it's Nifscope, but... You know, all in all, it does look very nice. It does look... It doesn't look exactly like that gun, but it does come pretty close. Uh, you know, it offers also a custom sound as well, so this gun is pretty good. Um, so yeah, I do enjoy this gun a lot. If you're pretty nostalgic or a New Vegas, you can get this gun and feel like a fucking badass. So, uh, yeah. Alright, everybody, so the next mod we're gonna be taking a look at is Bullet Time by Registrator 2000. Now, as you can see, let's just go into Bullet Time mode. We're gonna be... We go bullet time. Also, you get a configuration module where you can configure time dilation. For example, somewhat slow, 70%, less slow, 50%, default, 40%, and extra slow, which is VATS. Um, you know, I don't really like to go that, you know, that slow. Uh, you can also configure AP cost and visual effects. For example, JET. I'm gonna go with JET. And let's go configure AP cost. We're gonna go with. We're gonna be bit. We're gonna be GD assholes. We're gonna go with 10 AP per second. Holy shit! So as you can see, we're in bullet time now. Damn son, where'd you get them skills? Nowhere, because I'm I'm kind of a cheater. <coughs> as you can see, I'm I'm flying actually. By the way, uh yeah, it's pretty pretty good. This is the vats. This is vats mode basically. Um, you know, which is cheaty as fuck. And you know, as you can see, we're we're slow. Um, but you know, if you wanna get wanna get bullet time, it's, pr it's pretty damn good. Oh, well, you know, I enjoy it. You can configure whatever you want. Let's go a little bit faster with jet. We're in jet mode right now. Oh yeah, give me them effects, boy. My companions are throwing Molotov cocktails, which is kind of counterproductive, but whatever, right? Alright everybody, so that's gonna do it for today's episode, hope you all enjoyed it, thanks for watching, please leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, also make sure to leave me some, you know, mod suggestions in the comment section down below, I'd really enjoy it, anyways, uh, <coughs> uh thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you later guys, bye.